My name is John Goldblum. I'm the chairman of anatomic pathology at the Cleveland Clinic um, in Cleveland, Ohio, obviously. Um, and I've been there for almost 20 years. Grew up in a family of physicians. I mean, every Goldblum from the city of Pittsburgh is a physician. Uh, I was the first one to go into pathology. I have an uncle who is a uh, well-known pathologist from Detroit, so I sort of grew up knowing a little bit about pathology, but not that much until I went to medical school. Um, medical school, every, every medical student in second year takes a pathology course, and as part of every pathology course, you have a laboratory section, and typically what happens is a bunch of students sit around and looking at slides, and most people don't really know what they're looking at, and there's always one guy in every class who has to go around and show his classmates sort of what what is what and I was that guy so it's just sort of one of those things that I didn't know I had the skill to do until I was put in a position to do it and I like doing it obviously and I just pursued it from that point on I figured it was the thing that I should do So I've been involved with Elsevier uh, for actually a number of years now and, and it's really actually been a great privilege of mine, uh, one of the highlights of my uh, professional career. I first got involved uh, with uh, Enzinger and Weiss's soft tissue pathology in the fourth edition. This is, this is a, a bible of uh, surgical pathology that I grew up uh, reading as a resident and, uh, and, and even referred to as a medical student. Uh, Sharon Weiss, who was my mentor at the University of Michigan, asked me to write the fourth edition uh, when Do Dr. Enzinger uh, no longer wanted to, uh, to be involved at that point. Uh, and, uh, you know, I was shocked, surprised, and thrilled, and it was not an offer that I was about to turn down. So I got involved uh, starting in the fourth edition, and that was my first experience in, in writing a textbook. Um, subsequently got involved in a GI pathology uh, textbook. Uh, surgical pathology of the GI tract with uh, Rob Odds uh, from Brigham and Women's in Hospital. Uh, that was published, I think the first edition was published in 2009. Uh, we're currently, and we've also published the second edition, we're currently working on the uh, third edition of that book. Um, subsequently, we got involved in a series of books, um, actually this does go back a number of years, uh, uh, called Foundations in Diagnostic Pathology. These are individual books which are part of a large group of books on every subspecialty, virtually every subspecialty in surgical pathology. Uh, different type of format, uh, sort of a, almost a templated type of format that is very similar from one edition to the other. So it's very easy to follow, well photographed, lots of tables. Uh, definitely designed to be much more for an everyday practice type of situation. And then finally, the last thing I became involved with most recently was surgical pathology clinics which are individual additions on totally different subspecialties, all parts of surgical pathology, really up-to-date uh, summaries on, on, on hot topics in every subspecialty. I think they really do span the whole spectrum from residents and fellows to faculty at both in both private practice and in academic. I don't th I don't think anybody uh, really doesn't have some use for one or more of these of these uh, books in, in some respect. As I mentioned earlier, some are better for sort of on the spot relative to a specific uh, topic. Uh, but you know, I, I think they span acro across the subspecialties and and across the uh, years of experience. Uh, yeah, as I mentioned earlier, I've been working with Elsevier for probably over a decade. Uh, it's gone through some changes. It's interesting to see what kind of changes have occurred in, in this field. But nevertheless, despite all the changes, I've worked with fantastic people uh, from beginning to end. Uh, the, the process is always smooth. I'm, I'm really well supported uh, in whatever I need. And, and it's, been, it's really been a pleasure for dealing with uh, Elsevier for, for this long a period of time. And I look forward to continuing doing it.